all of that stuff is gone. You have to fly and fly and fly. That is great, by great way. So friends, my message to you, young friends, is that education gives you wings to fly. Education gives you wings to fly. Achievement comes out of fire in our subconscious mind. That I will win. That subconscious mind should say I will win. So each one of you assembled here, elsewhere in Sri Lanka, will have wings of fire. The wings of fire will indeed lead to knowledge which will make you to fly, fly. How many of you want to become doctors? How many of you want to become doctors? <coughs> doctors? How many of you want to become engineers and scientists? How many of you want to become great teachers? A oh, number of them. Great teachers. How many of you want to become bureaucrats? In, in our country it's called IAS. Administrator. Administrative chief. How many of you? IPS. Police. Okay. How many of you want to become good political leaders? <laughs> Oh, there's a number. I'm very happy to see the large number. We see all the bad. <laughs> because that we need a lot of young people to enter into politics and make the politics more purposeful. Friends, how many of you want to walk in the mass and moon? How many of you want to walk and moon? Oh, number of them are there. I will see you in moon or mass by 2030 when I am 100 years old. <laughs> So friends, now I would like to assert that no youth today need to fear about the future. I would like to assert that no youth today need to fear about the future. How? The ignited mind of the youth, as I said, is the most powerful resource in this universe. Now friends, let me talk to you about the characteristics of a knowledge society and creative leadership. Knowledge society which you have to enter, or you have already entered in India, you have just entered the knowledge society, that is the industrial, to information society, to now we have graduates in knowledge society. The world in the knowledge society in 21st century, the present century, the world in the 21st century will be a knowledge-based society with multiple opportunities. I was telling a book, Empires of the Mind by Dennis Wakey. Young, young friends, this book, paper, that book by Dennis Wakey, Empires of the Mind. Each one of you possible are in the library, you must read this book. This book gives what type of new world which we are facing now, what was yesterday and what is today. I have modified certain points of the other to suit our condition. I have also added a third line which is pertinent to the action required by the management institutions. It specially says that is what worked yesterday won't work today. What worked yesterday won't work today. That was the message of the book. Yesterday, the author says, yesterday I modified for you. Yesterday, natural resources define the power. Yesterday. Today, knowledge is the power. Whether it's Sri Lanka or India, knowledge is going to be the power. Natural resources will not be defined the power early. Institutions will be the powerhouse for knowledge, like the education institutions. Yesterday, hierarchy was the model. Hierarchy, parambara. Hierarchy was the model. Today, synergy is a mandate. People work together. Institutions will be an enabler of the intersection of the multiple faculties towards the mission goal. Yesterday, leaders commanded and controlled. Leaders command and control. Yesterday. Today, leaders empower and coach. Today, leaders empower and coach. Potential leaders will be empowered through exposure to the needs of the sustainable development. Yesterday, fourth point, yesterday, shareholders came first. Today, customers come first. Education should inculcate the sensitivity to the customer needs. Fifth point, yesterday employees took order. Today, yesterday 
the employees to order. Today, teams make decisions. Teams make decisions. Institution can inject team spirit to the students. Yesterday, seniority signifies status. Seniority. Today, creativity drives status irrespective of the age. Institution is a breathing environment for the creative. Yesterday, production determined the availability. Today, competitiveness is the key. Competitiveness is powered by research, and the university has to have the motto of teaching research and teaching. Wherever there is a great research, there will be great teaching in the academic institutions. Wherever there is a great teaching and great research will be there. So the, the institution will be known by its research. Yesterday, value was extra. Today, value is everything. Value-based education, value-based education for young people has to be introduced as a part of the curriculum at least for one hour every week for up to age 17. Yesterday, everyone was a competitor. Today, everyone is a customer. During the education, industrial and entrepreneurial training is essential. The most important thing is, yesterday, profits were earned through experience. Profits were earned through experience. Today, work with integrity and succeed with integrity. 21st century, dear young friends, when you go out of the school or colleges, one of the greatest qualities will be demand, whether Sri Lanka or India, America or any other nation, that is, you should take a oath. I will work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Will you repeat with me, all of you? For all, I will work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Very tough job, succeed with integrity. But that was demanded 21st century young people. That was demanded. So, friends, I am sure all the members present here will keep this aspect of 21st century in the mind, which will facilitate the youth of Sri Lanka to evolve the learning process for meeting the demands of the 10 components of knowledge society, which I listed. For that, what is needed is the creative leadership. Creative leadership means exercising the vision to change the traditional role from the commander to coach. The leader will not be a commander, he, will be a, he or she will be a coach. Manager to the mentor, from, from director to delegator, and, 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 and from one who demands respect to, who facilitates them, instead of demanding respect, who facilitates self-respect. For accelerated society transformation, we need a large number of creative leaders in India, Sri Lanka, any other country. I am sure the education system in Sri Lanka is dead up for the generation of a large number of creative leaders in young age, needed a different discipline acquired for national economic development. The national economic development to be sustainable needs inclusive development of both urban and rural sector. Sri Lanka has over over 40,000 villages which need, which need inclusive and integrated development comparable to the urban cities in, in Sri Lanka. They need knowledge transmission, infrastructure provision such as storage, processing and fast transportation. These areas can be serviced in an integrated way through Pura, Pura means providing urban amenities to the rural area. Pura envisages a provision of a physical, electronic and knowledge connectivity, leading to the economic connectivity in a rural complex using rural skill and competence and raw material. I have proposed for the system of Pura number 7,000 for inclusive development for India having 600,000 villages with 700 million people living there. For Sri Lanka, uh, for a rural population of over, of, of over 15 million, I, have, I would suggest creation of about 300 Pura complexes. For Sri Lanka, these 300 Pura complexes distributed, distributed certain number of coastal Pura, field Pura, and plain Pura depending upon the terrain and the local core competence. 
in pura main industry against kataki building in farmers fishermen craftsmen tourist promoters and workers of small and medium scale industries in india the system of pura has been accepted by the government as an integrated economic development system for rural development i am progressing in addition to sustainable economic development it is also essential to ethic and value system of peace ethic that value system of peace Every youth needs to have an ethic to acquire the quality of creative leadership. If the nation needs creative leadership in all its domain, the nation has to have a national ethics. National ethics for sustained development, sustained development, economic development alone survive unless the nation becomes ethics and the citizens become ethics. Now, national ethics for sustained growth how would be then? we need to have national ethics for sustained growth and peace where from it starts where from it starts nation has to have ethics in all its tasks for sustained economic prosperity and peace if nation is to have ethics i am very happy that lot of spiritual leaders are here and leaders of multiple fields are there if nation is to have ethics society has to promote ethics and value system If society is to have ethics and value system, families should adhere to ethics and value system. If families have to get a war with ethics and value system, parenthood should have inbuilt ethics. Parenthood should have inbuilt ethics. Parenthood ethics come from great learning, value-based education, and creation of a clean environment that leads to righteousness in the heart. Conclusion. In concluding, friends. Friends, finally, let me now discuss with a very important area which is significant to our trust in evolving and economic.